Here's one way to build an oil return line for a custom turbocharger application. I'm using AN push lock hose along with AN-8 45 and 90 degree full flow fittings. Here's an adapter to go from a Mitsubishi TD-04 to the Dash 8 fittings. This is the push lock hose. Here's a full flow fitting. This is a fuel cell fitting which is normally used to go into a fuel cell. I'm going to use it to go into the side of the engine block. Here I'm going to test fit these pieces on the bench to make sure the thing is clear and I can adjust the angles. I'm going to install that on the engine and mock things up so that I can adjust the angle of the hose returning down to the oil pan. That's the beauty of these AN fittings is you can rotate them and minimize the bends in the flexible hose. I've removed the oil pan so I can get inside of the engine. Looking at the oil dipstick I can find a spot that is above the oil level inside the engine to return the oil to. It must be above the oil level. I'm going to remove the axle from the car so I can get in there with a drill to drill a hole in the side of the block for oil return. I'm going to use a magic marker to mark the spot. Place a paper towel over the oil pickup inside of the pan to catch the chips while I'm drilling. I'm going to make an indentation in the center of that magic marker using a spring-loaded center punch. And then I'm going to use a machinist's centering drill bit to locate the initial hole. And this block casting is thin enough that I'm just going to go all the way through using that machinist centering drill bit. Once I've got that hole established, I can switch over to a step drill bit. And using this step drill bit, I can enlarge the hole so that the fuel cell fitting will return oil into the block. I'm going to remove the shop rag, spray out the inside of the engine with brake cleaner and air to get rid of all these chips. Here you see the fuel cell fitting from the outside of the block, from the inside of the block. I've used a center punch and a hammer to stake three spots in the nut on that fitting on the inside of the block so it won't come loose. I've also used Permatex anaerobic sealer and thread locker on the threads on both sides of that fuel cell fitting. Now I can adjust the angle on these AN fittings to minimize the bend in the flexible hose. There's a rubber damper ring on the axle that gets in the way of this hose. So I'm going to have to remove that rubber ring. This is the feed line for oil to the turbocharger. This banjo fitting has a one millimeter restrictor inside of it to limit oil flow. Look at all those chips that came out of the engine from drilling in the side of the block. Definitely a good idea to remove the oil pan. This is the Permatex anaerobic gasket maker also available as Loctite 518. That's what I use to seal the oil pan back onto the block. And here you see the finished setup and the axle's ready to go back in. For added protection, use a layer of fire sleeve over the flexible hose. You can seal the end of the fire sleeve with a silicone end dip and or use silicone tape to attach the fire sleeve to the flexible hose. Make sure you check out my other videos on YouTube and if you like the video let me know.